Saturday, September the 9th. So today I just wanted to just put a little bit of clarification behind the, uh, the viral videos that we did a little while ago. Uh, so what was the reason for them, why did I do them and how have they done? So let's just get to them on the channel. There we go, so I did three. I thought I would, actually I changed one last minute um, uh, just because it, I thought an opportunity presented itself but I'll get to that in a minute. So the first one I did was the Bristol Crocodile. So kind of annoyed quite a few people with that. Uh, the whole idea that there's this, this myth around Bristol that uh, somewhere within the River Avon is a crocodile that comes out every now and again. There's, if you do a search for it on YouTube you'll come up with hundreds of videos. Click on mine. Um, and you can see loads of them. Uh, you, no one's ever seen it, I don't think. Especially the people that I've spoken to have said, Oh yes, yes, yeah, it does exist, it exists. Oh, have you seen it? No! Um, so uh, that was just kind of, I, I was cycling home um, through some of the little cycle tracks and um, I just saw a load of rocks that kind of at a particular angle, and I don't think I actually got the angle in the video, at a particular angle looked a lot like a crocodile. So I thought I would I would just jump off the bike and just record it. That was just spur of the moment. Um, that, uh, it's done, done, uh, 46 views, you know, that's it. I, I think, to be honest with you, this myth died years ago. Um, and even though a lot of people do still look at it, it's not widely looked at on YouTube. So, kind of, you know, meh to that. But it was a bit of fun, put it together, and yeah, had a bit of fun with that. Second one was just in random places, smiling. That was taken off a guy that um, spends, I think, his whole channel. Uh, is dedicated to him pretty much smiling there four hour long videos and all he does is he just sits there and smiles for four hours uh, without flinching or anything at all. I would just smile around different places that I would go on on my bike um, and that's 16 views you know again not great at all uh, and then the last one that's done remarkably well and that is the hummingbird moth. So there's obviously you've, you've in certain parts of the world you've got a hummingbird and in the parts of the world that don't have hummingbirds have hummingbird moths. So it's it, it's a hawk moth um, and it feeds, has a quite a long proboscis, looks a lot like a um, a beak of a, or sorry, rather the tongue of um, a hummingbird and was just feeding on, on the budley in the back garden. So I, I tried to look to find out if I can actually figure, if I can find where my notes are as to what viral, vid viral videos I was going to do. That certainly wasn't on there but I thought I'd just jump in it anyway and just get a load of, uh, load of video of that and that's done 464. So that has actually done really well but a video that isn't uh, well, in the viral video sort of experiment was my Player Unknown Battlegrounds new game review that was done 812 views. So actually, the videos that I've done better weren't in the viral video experiment. With the viral video experiment, what I did was I altered some of the uh, the way that I write titles. I don't like clickbait. I don't like clickbaity titles. I tried to write clickbaity titles. I'm not very good at it. Um, and to try and sort of direct traffic to that video didn't work. Um, so, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. That's fine. That's not a problem. I think what I, I've learned quite a bit about this um, since doing these videos. And I think for the whole, uh, for the, well, for the most part, it's a viral video needs to be spur of the moment, something that you just capture, something that people either want to laugh at or want to look at. Uh, kind of planning them just doesn't seem to work at all. Um, so I think from that sort of experiment, I'm just gonna, you know, mark that as experiment complete and also failed. So that doesn't matter. I've learned a lot from doing that, to be honest. You had a bit of fun as well in doing it. Um, so that's the kind of thinking behind the sort of viral video. Can you, I think if you have a production company with, with this, it's just me and, and, and my camera. If you have a production company, then I sh I'm sure it's a lot easier uh, once you get the marketing and everything else behind you uh, and put out. I'm sure it's a lot easier to get a viral video made. Whereas myself, it's just me, just going off what I see, uh, it's extremely difficult. But it doesn't mean you can't have fun and can't try. So that was uh, the viral video experiment. That was quite a bit of fun, to be honest. I had quite a bit of fun in doing that. Um, am I going to do it again? Nah. 
uh, <laughs> I, I want to just go back to just having just quite simple vlogs, what's been going on, what's happening, etc, etc. New products I'm trying out, um, things I've bought and stuff like that, and there's been a load of stuff I've bought recently. Uh, but there's one thing I want to cover first beforehand, and that was that my very trusted bit, Fitbit Blaze uh, died. Uh, that's what it looked like. Uh, obviously this is working, this is a new one, this is uh, a brand new one that Fitbit have sent me and I just wanted to basically give a little bit of a little bit of uh, feedback as to uh, what happened with this and the whole process. So I was in work um, and the, the, the whole, the Fitbit just, just broke. It came up with a temperature symbol on the display, wouldn't be recognised by anything, wouldn't sync, wouldn't do anything. So obviously I need my Fitbit for, I use it as a watch. I also use it as to check my heart rate and stuff like that and also to see how much when I'm cycling how much pressure I'm actually putting on myself. Um, so I use it quite a lot, I use it really often and without it I felt kind of naked without this sort of thing. Uh, so I got in touch with Fitbit, their support is generally pretty good. I've used it once in the past when I needed uh, a new band to be sent out. And I got in touch with them and I said, right, okay, this is what's happened. I showed them a photo, can you help me? And they said, yeah, no problem. And they sent me out a brand new one. Um, so that's, that's excellent. Perfect. Um, now, normally I don't use, I don't look for guarantees. I don't use, I don't even read the small print because I never use them. If I buy something, I use it. If it breaks, I tend to just buy it again. Um, quite silly. I know. I just, I've never been that sort of guy to go, oh, guarantee and everything else. I, I just never done that. Uh, but with this, really, really good. Um, so I'm going to keep it in the original strap. Uh, and I'm just going to, for the time being, the strap is starting to annoy me a bit, but it's not as bad as the last one. This, they seem to have changed them slightly, maybe. It seems a little bit less plasticky and a little bit more wearable. Um, so we'll see how it goes anyway. But I just wanted to put out a little shout out just to, to see if you have got an issue with a Fitbit product and it, this isn't being paid for, it's just me. Um, then, yeah, the support is really good. Um, so. There we are. So with that, I'm going to crack on. I've got no end of stuff to do today. I'm also on Twitch later on. Uh, if you aren't familiar with Twitch, the previous vlog, which I think is here, uh, will tell you exactly what Twitch is and what I'm endeavouring to do with Twitch and why I'm going into the Twitch sort of side of it as well. So if you, if you are free at 7pm GMT tonight, then jump on Twitch. Uh, there will be in the description, there will be a link to my Twitch channel. Jump on, have a little look, watch me play, see if you enjoy. Oh, and also... Uh, I don't know if he watches this vlog, but I'm going to put it out there. Sargon TV, you watched me play Vanquish, I think it was, August the 28th, and you gave me a £10 donation. Thank you ever so much. Uh, that really took me by surprise. I didn't have an email notification. The first thing I knew about it was when I went into PayPal, and there it was. So thank you for doing that. That really does mean a hell of a lot. And for the rest of you, I'm...